Introduction Ratio means comparing two quantities. A basket has two type of fruits, 20 bananas and 30 apples. Then the ratio of the number of bananas to the number of apples is equal to 20 is to 30. The number of bananas are 2 upon 3 of number of apples. In terms of ratio, this is 2 is to 3. Read as 2 is to 3. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define interest Calculate discount and compound interest Find sales tax and value-added tax Apply compound interest formula for calculating compound interest annually and half-yearly Example A tour is being planned in a school for class 8 Girls are 40% of the total number of students and are 18 in number. The place is 250 km away from this school and the transport company is charging at the rate of Rs 15 per kilometer. The total cost of the refreshments will be Rs 4,500. The cost per head if two teachers are also going with the class. Solution Let the total number of students be X. 40% of X is girls. Therefore, 40 upon 100 into X is equal to 18. X is equal to 18 into 100 upon 40, which equals 45. Number of students is equal to 45. Number of boys is equal to 45 minus 18, 27. The ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is 18 is to 27, which is equal to 2 upon 3. 2 upon 3 is written as 2 upon 3 and read as 2 is to 3. To find the cost per person, transportation charge is equal to distance both ways into rate, which is equal to rupees 250 into 2 into 15, which equals rupees 500 into 15 which is equal to rupees 7,500. Total expenses is equal to refreshment charge plus transportation charge, which is equal to rupees 4,500 plus rupees 7,500, which is equal to rupees 12,000. Total number of persons is equal to 18 girls plus 27 boys plus 2 teachers is equal to 47 persons. The amount spent for one person is equal to rupees 12,000 upon 47, which is equal to rupees 255. Example, the price of a bike was rupees 45,000 last year. It has increased 20% this year. What is the price now? Solution, the price of a bike is equal to rupees 45,000. Increased percentage is 20. 20% 20 of 45,000 is equal to rupees 20 upon 100 into 45,000, which is equal to rupees 9,000. New price is equal to old price plus increase, which is equal to rupees 45,000 plus rupees 9,000, which is equal to rupees 54,000. In order to increase its sale, the price of a bike was decreased by 5%. Then let us find the price of the bike now. Price of bike is equal to rupees 45,000. Reduction is equal to 5% of 45,000, which is equal to 5 upon 100 into 45,000, which is equal to 2,250. New price is equal to old price minus reduction, which is equal to rupees 45,000 minus rupees 2250 which is equal to rupees 42750 finding discounts discount is a reduction given on the market price mp of the article discount is equal to market price minus sale price estimation in percentages your bill in a shop is rupees 498.20 and the shopkeeper gives a discount of 
How would you estimate the amount to be paid? 1. Round off the bill to the nearest tens of rupees 498.20, that is, to 500. 2. Find 10% of this, that is, rupees 10 upon 100 into 500, which is equal to rupees 50. Therefore, reduce your bill amount by rupees 50, which will be rupees 450 approximately. Price related to buying and selling, profit and loss. I will spend rupees 3 on pen and rupees 2 on paper. So my expenditure is rupees 5. This gives me a profit of rupees 3, which is 3 upon 10 into 100 is equal to 30%. Finding cost price, selling price, profit in percentage, loss in percentage. Example, a shopkeeper purchased 200 dolls for rupees 5 each. However, 20 dolls are broken and had to be thrown away. The remaining were sold at rupees 8 each. Find the gain or loss in percentage. Solution. Cost price of 200 dolls is equal to rupees 200 into 5, which is equal to rupees 1000. 20 dolls were broken. Number of dolls left is equal to 200 minus 20, which is 180. These were sold at rupees 8 each. The SP of 180 dolls is equal to rupees 180 into 8, which equals rupees 1440. He made a profit as SP is greater than CP. Profit is equal to rupees 1140 minus 1000, which is equal to rupees 440. On rupees 1000, the profit is rupees 440. How much profit is made in rupees 100? Profit is equal to 440 upon 1000 into 100, which is equal to 44%. Finding sales tax. The cost of a pair of shoes at a shop was rupees 1450. The sales tax charged was 8%. Find the bill amount. Solution. On rupees 100, tax paid was rupees 8. On rupees 1450, the tax paid would be rupees 8 upon 100 into 1450 is equal to rupees 116. Bill amount is equal to cost of item plus sales tax is equal to rupees 1450 plus rupees 116 is equal to rupees 1566 finding value added tax rena bought a washing machine for rupees 9800 including a tax of 10% find the price of washing machine before vat was added including vat price of washing machine is equal to rupees 9800 10% of 9800 is equal to rupees 980 price before vat added is equal to 9800 minus 980 is equal to rupees 8820 simple interest interest is the extra money paid by bank or post offices on money deposited with them interest is paid by people when they borrow money it depends upon the amount, period of time, and the interest rate. Example A sum of rupees 2000 borrow at a rate of interest 6% per annum for two years. Find the simple interest on this sum and amount to be paid at the end of two years. Solution On rupees 2000, interest charged is equal to 6 upon 100 into 2000 is equal to rupees 120 interest for two years is equal to rupees 120 into 2 is equal to rupees 240 amount to be paid at the end of two years is equal to principal plus interest which is equal to rupees 2000 plus 240 is equal to rupees 2240 compound interest Compound interest arises 
when interest is added to the principal, so that from that moment on, the interest that has been added also itself earns interest. This addition of interest to the principal is called compounding. Calculating compound interest. A sum of rupees twenty-four thousand is borrowed by Hari for two years at the rate of five percent compounded annually. Step one: Find the simple interest SI for one year. Let the principal for the first period be P one. P one is equal to rupees twenty-four thousand. SI one is equal to SI at five percent for the first year is equal to rupees. Twenty-four thousand into five upon hundred is equal to twelve hundred. Step two. Then find the amount which will be paid or received. This becomes principal for the next year. Amount at the end of first year is equal to P one plus S I one is equal to rupees twenty-four thousand plus rupees twelve hundred. Is equal to rupees twenty five thousand two hundred is equal to P two. Step three. Again, find the interest on this sum for another one year. S I two is equal to S I at five percent per annum for second year is equal to rupees twenty five thousand two hundred into five upon hundred is equal to rupees one thousand two hundred sixty. Step four. Find the amount which has to be paid or received at the end of second year. Amount at the end of second year is equal to P two plus S I two is equal to rupees twenty five thousand two hundred plus rupees one thousand two hundred sixty is equal to rupees twenty six thousand four hundred sixty. Total interest given is equal to rupees twelve hundred. Plus rupees twelve hundred sixty is equal to rupees two thousand four hundred sixty. We can calculate SI in this way also. SI for two years is equal to rupees twenty four thousand into five into two upon hundred is equal to rupees twenty four hundred. When compound interest was used, Hari would have to pay rupees sixty more. Rate compounded annually. Or half yearly, the time period after which the interest is added each time to form a new principal is called the conversion period. When the interest is compounded half yearly, there are two conversion period in a year, each after six months. In such situations, the half yearly rate will be half of the annual rate. For interest is compounded quarterly. There are four conversion periods in a year, and the quarterly rate will be one fourth of the annual rate. Example: What amount is to be repaid on a loan of rupees fifteen thousand in one and a half years at ten percent per annum compounded half yearly? Solution: There are three half years in one and a half years. Compounding has to be done in three times. Rate of interest is equal to half of ten percent is equal to five percent half yearly. A is equal to P into one plus R upon hundred whole square N is equal to fifteen thousand into one plus five upon hundred raised to the power three is equal to fifteen thousand into. One hundred five upon one hundred is equal to fifteen thousand into twenty one upon twenty into twenty one upon twenty into twenty one upon twenty, which is equal to seventeen thousand three hundred sixty four point thirty seven rupees. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. Discount is a reduction given on marked price. Discount is equal to marked price minus sale price. Discount can be calculated when discount percentage is given. Discount is equal to discount percentage of marked price. Additional expenses made after buying an article are included in the cost price and are known as overhead expenses. 
CP is equal to buying price plus overhead expenses. Sales tax is charged on the sale of an item by the government and is added to the bill amount. Sales tax is equal to tax percentage of bill amount. Compound interest is the interest calculated on the previous year's amount, A as P plus I. Amount when interest is compounded annually. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Quantities are compared using ratio, proportion, unitary method and percentage. Percentage means in every hundred or hundredths. Numbers, fractions, decimals and ratios can be expressed as percentages. Percentages can be converted into numbers, fractions, decimals and ratios. The concept of percentage is used to compute profit or loss percent, increase or decrease percent and simple interest.